because I was a warrior and now I'm a caregiver. Seeing her in that way, I didn't just see her as my wife, but also as a, uh, a wingman. And you don't leave your wingman behind. And it's something I was gonna, I was okay with. She's still active duty, she's got her TUIs, her deployments. We have children, uh, two great children. And so that's my responsibility as a father. All right, so I'm gonna do that. And I just kinda, a little bit of a transition at first, uh, but it's my responsibility and it's an honor. The advice for a new caregiver, give yourself some patience. It can be overwhelming sometimes. Uh, if you have to keep a journal or, or notes, especially with the medicines, trying to almost getting um, organized. But another very important thing is uh, don't forget about yourself. I, I think I've done that. I've forgotten about myself until came to this weekend. Uh, I was saying in, in some of the groups that a dead battery can't jumpstart a car. And so even though you've, that's your spouse, that's your, uh, where your heart is at, you want to help them, at the end of the day, you have to, you know, kind of take care of yourself as well. So being organized and then sometimes recharging your own batteries. Well, that's my mission, is to take care of as much as I can take care of so she doesn't have to. And it's going to be interesting when she gets out how that mission might change, but I think with some of this stuff, because she lost her, her motivation, uh, she's struggling, but hearing the way she's talking with this, the sports stuff, I think that's going to be a really, really good thing for her.